Hey Sagittarius, thanks for visiting. Uh, so this is doing for April the 8th or the 9th. One or the other. I don't know why I do that, but I did. And for um, from there to the week onwards, might be one week, might be two weeks. We're just going to see how we go with these. Um, and, you know, if you'd like to like, subscribe, leave a comment, you can do that if you'd like to. And if you'd like to support the channel, um, there are ways of doing that in the box, in the description box down there. So um, you can do that if that's what you'd like to do. Uh, so I'm just going to start your reading right now. No more of that. I don't like those big intro. I'm, I'm making it worse right now, aren't I? I'm still saying it. The first card you have your past is uh, the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so just looking down here, this looks really amazing, obviously, for work, which is what these two cards are, especially the first one. It can be about workplace, people getting together. And, you know, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, amazing, amazing card for work, money, and just about everything in your life. It's stability, it's amazing things, opportunities, so fantastic. So just before I say anything, I could see that for your work. And you've had a lot of work in your readings lately i think in the last few there was a lot of work there so it's still on your mind here obviously or you've got work things happening um so yeah there are actually a few little problems i think uh, that might have happened in your work or around your work uh it's it, i'm kind of getting work and emotion at the same time which usually doesn't go together but um maybe this was in the past because this is obviously um in the past uh or it might be happening now but that it's it's like a feeling triggering a feeling. So I, I know that sounds a bit strange. That's kind of what I'm getting. Something happened in the workplace and it triggered off uh, some kind of feeling that you used to feel maybe years ago. Um, so maybe, yeah, so it looks like maybe you put yourself out there. It was, it's like you made a suggestion or you said, okay, um, I think we should do this. This is a good idea because uh, you knew this way to do something. That's what I'm seeing. And you kind of suggested that. And um, I, I think it was dismissed or it was kind of someone didn't really take it very seriously. Um, and so, you know, I think what happened was years ago, maybe your parents might have been someone in authority, maybe teachers um, gave you that as well. They kind of dismissed you as well. And um, so that's what this triggered off and um, you know I think what happened in the past this is what I'm getting maybe when you were growing up uh, there was a kind of an apathetic feeling around you it's a bit like well why do I bother why would I bother um, doing well in school why not everyone but you know that kind of feeling doesn't mean you didn't want to do well in school but it's just that feeling it's like why bother trying why bother trying to um, you know talk to this parent um, or tell them what I'm achieving if they dismiss me. Why do I bother talking to this or that person? Why do I bother trying here or saying anything? Because I'm just going to be dismissed. That's the kind of feeling you used to have, I think. And it was like, well, there's no point. Very, very sad to have that happen to children. Um, you know, it's it's kind of the worst way you, you want to be. Um, and if, if that happened to you, I'm very sorry that happened to you because it, it's not your fault if that's how you were. Um, a lot of people say, well, if children are horrible, if they're kind of, not I'm not saying you're horrible, but if children were kind of like, oh, I don't care, I don't care, um, it's usually because something's happened to them um, to make them kind of feel like that. Either they're ignored, dismissed, and so they start to think, well, why do I bother trying? And, and so I think that might be what happened. Obviously, not all the time, but um, I'm getting that kind of feeling for you. So... And I think that's how you used to react. I think when people dismissed you in the past, you reacted like that. I, I just couldn't be bothered. I don't care. You know, if I'm going to be thrown out of this race all the time, I'm not in it. I don't want to be in the race. Um, so yeah, lots, there might be a bit of un potential, um, you know, unfulfilled potential, I should say, in your past. Um, and so I think looking back, you kind of think, well, I could have done this, I could have done that. Because I had this feeling of, oh, why do I bother? then that really, um, you know, gave me a lot of problems. Um, and I have seen this before in your readings. It's really, really, I'm getting this very um, sharp deja vu here. Very similar thing I've seen uh, before. So it's coming up again here. And, and I think it's coming up here now because there's lots and lots of strength around you now. Loads of strength. And you've got the strength card here as well, right next to this. So, um, 
you know, lots and lots of strength um, and lots of energy, lots of positivity. So um, I think now when someone uh, makes you feel like that, makes you triggered, puts you back to that feeling of when you were a child, if, if that's you, if that resonates with you, um, I, I think what happens is now you go the opposite way. You go the opposite way. And if that's how you're feeling, if you're very, very different to how you used to be, it means that you're starting on a path to rising up. It's some kind of ascension path. So I think you've already started that, if that's you. And so now uh, you kind of use that as a positive. It's like, well, you know, you might not take me seriously, but I take me seriously now. I take me seriously. That's a huge shift, a huge step. And, and that's exactly um, what uh, the Ace of Pentacles is about. It's like a shift from the Three of Pentacles, actually, where you're up there on a platform, you're trying to talk to people, which is what's happening there. And someone's being dismissed or not taken very seriously. Uh, there's a jester on that as well, which is a bit of a clown. So it's like, I don't really take them seriously. So we're going from that um, to the Ace of Pentacles, you know, which is like, I was relying on all these people in the Three of Pentacles, but now with the Ace of Pentacles, I'm strong and I'm relying on myself. I'm relying on myself. So I've got that now as well. So yeah, big, big changes. This is about a career change, but it's more than that. Again, I think you're starting on some kind of path of ascension, of going upwards at this time. Um, I think you're probably still in this process now. So I'm kind of feeling that with you now. Um, yeah, it's more than a career change, you know, because you've got this huge inner strength. Um, and yeah, I'm seeing something that you might have tried at one time. Uh, and I think now there's a sh second chance at something. It's something you're doing by yourself. I'm seeing that again. Um, and yeah, the difference this time is you've got this change in your outlook to the way you used to be uh, and the way you feel about yourself. And that's exactly what the Ace of Pentacles is about. It's, you know, at a superficial level, um, you know, at its basic level, it's all about um, money coming in, opportunities coming in, opening up and all that. Um, but to be able to manifest that, to be able to manifest anything, um, you have to be able to feel that inside yourself. You have to have that conviction. You have to have that change inside yourself. Uh, and that's the difference. And you've got that now, or you've started on that path now. So happy to see that huge change um, from way, way back in the past to just recently in this workplace. And now you're making this move forward. I really, really hope this resonates with you. It's absolutely fantastic. So the last card you have your past is the Knight of Cups. Okay, I'm getting quite, um, I'm getting a kind of delicate, fragile, a little bit sensitive person here. Um, and maybe this person's um, very, very sensitive to what's happening around us right now. Because when people are sensitive already, or they're prone to something or feeling lots and lots of emotions, um, and they're pushed into a situation like this, it can really be difficult. I feel this right now. Um, I'm okay now, but I have had lots of ups and downs because I'm um, quite empathic, so I feel all these things. So um, I, I, I'm getting the feeling that this person that's in this card is like that as well. And um, it, it's partly that, but also I think someone might be talking to this person. Maybe they're telling them things. Uh, I think this is a love connection, obviously with this cop, so this is a love connection. And so this is someone you're dealing with in love right now. Um, so yes, yeah, someone's talking to them, I think, or they're telling them things. Um, yeah, not a third party, not a third party. I just feel as if I have to say that, I have to make that really clear. Um, there's lots and lots of love here. So they have lots and lots of feelings for you, even though they're going through this very kind of sensitive time, difficult time. And, you know, if you look at this knight, obviously he's holding back, you know, he's not going all the way up to the river. And I'll lift that up so you can see the river. You can see, so he's got the river in front of him, but he's not going up there. He's kind of stopped. He's thinking, oh, should I go forward? Should I not? Um, so uh, what I'm getting is they love you. They absolutely love you. Uh, there's a little bit of disapproval here. Um, I think maybe it might be coming from somewhere in this in their family. I think you already know this if this is you. Um, so lots of talk. Someone's talking to them and it's this person who disapproves, I think. Um, so I, I think something like that might be going on. So if they're not talking to you right now or they're kind of holding back on talking to you, 
um, it's not because they don't love you. I I'm getting that. Um, it's really hard right now because a lot of people are separated, so you might be separated from them. Um, there is a lot of strength around you as a couple. I feel as if I have to tell you that as well, because you're kind of getting this feeling of, well, they're really sensitive. Maybe they're not talking to me right now. I feel a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a holding back kind of thing there. And so if you're feeling that coming from someone, uh, you're a very, very strong couple. Um, and you can definitely bypass anyone who doesn't approve of you. I can see that really, really strongly. No one's going to come between you. Okay, I have to say that again. No one's going to come between you. Um, it might be a bit hard for you to see that right now if you're in this situation, uh, especially if you're separated from someone and if you're isolated, which a lot of people are in this situation right now. Um, very, very difficult time for any relationships. Um, but you're a very strong couple. And, and I think, you know, they're, they're a very delicate person. They're quite a sensitive person, but you, uh, you compliment them really, really well. I'm getting that as well. Very, very strong. Um, okay, so I have to say this about this person who disapproves. Uh, again, I think it might be someone in their family. Um, it, it doesn't look like they're going to change their mind. They're not going to change their mind. I think they're always going to have this little bit of a disapproving thing. They might warm up, you know, in the future at some time, but they're always going to have that little bit in them. Because if you look at this night, you know, it's coming up to this river. And, you know, there's this big mountain just behind the river and mountains don't move. Mountains don't move. So, um, you know, if you end up with this person in the long term, and I can I can see that you probably will be because it looks very, very positive between you, even though all these things are going on right now. Um, you know, there's always going to be a little bit of that tension with that person. Uh, they're not going to move on the way they feel. I uh, hate to bring you that news, but... Um, that's what I'm seeing. But it doesn't really matter because nothing, nobody can come between you. Not this horrible thing that's happening to all of us right now. Not isolation and not this person who I think is um, a family member. Okay, so the first card you have your present is uh, Strength. Fantastic card. So you've got all these amazing cards here as well. Um, and you know, as far as your work goes, very, very positive here once again. So it's looking like that again here. Um, so, you know, I'm really getting this because with the strength card, it's like, no, I'm strong. I can do this. So it's like, yes, this time I can do this. Yeah, this time is the important thing. This time, because again, you tried to do something before. It didn't work out. And now you're trying it again. That's what I'm seeing here in this card again. And everything feels very different now. It's like you're bigger now. You're, you're old now. You're stronger. I'm getting bigger, bigger, bolder. Um, because you look at this card and you've got the landscape behind this woman and this lion. Uh, they're really, really big compared to the lens, landscape around them. So, um, yeah, so you've got that. You're much bigger now. You're much different now. Uh, all this... Um, you know, lots and lots of, um, what's the word? I can't think of the word. Experience. I don't know why I can't think of the word experience. Yeah, lots of, you had lots of experience behind you. Not just experience in work, but life experience since you tried to do this last time. Uh, there's a little bit of up and down emotion here that I'm getting and probably the, a similar thing to what everyone's feeling really right now. We're all facing a little bit of, um, you know, unsteady energy. Everyone's feeling that. And, you know, you can see that in the Two of Pentacles as well. It's like, I'm up one minute, down the next. Um, so that might be what you're like right now. And, and if that is you, if you are feeling like that, um, just comfort yourself, comfort yourself as much as you can. And, and just do whatever you can to take care of yourself, like this woman uh, taking care of this lion, because you deserve that. You really, really do deserve that. And, you know, sleep if you need to, meditate, eat healthy food, anything you can to take care of yourself properly. Um, you know, you've got this amazing opportunity ahead of you. I can see that everywhere here, especially with the Ace of Pentacles. And um, it's your opportunity because it feels as if it feels as if you've given this to yourself. So it might be an idea that you've had and you've said, oh, I've got this great idea. I'm going to give this to myself as a gift and I'm going to do this. Um, and so if you're in isolation, obviously you can't um, physically start whatever this is right now. So I think um, if you are in this isolation, if you are in quarantine, um, think of this as being in a cocoon. You know, it's all comfortable, 
it's all quiet, you're all snuggled up like in a blanket, it feels like that. And you know, in your space, and it's it's your space in this cocoon, it's your space to grow um, before you fly out of the cocoon um, and you fly away into freedom. So try seeing this as a positive time where you're growing, you're getting ready, you're preparing for what's ahead of you. Um, that's a kind of a more positive way to see this if you're having these kinds of ups and downs. So just something to think about. I go through them as well all the time. Sometimes I'm fine, then I suddenly crash and I'm like, oh no. no it, it's happening to all of us really. Okay, so with the two of pentacles, next cards, the two of pentacles. Um, okay, now, now with this love connection, um, I'm seeing a conversation here. Obviously, it's um, if you're in isolation, it's not going to be a face-to-face -face conversation. So sometimes this card can be about texting. Uh, you know, my turn to text, your turn to text, and kind of waiting to hear back, waiting for an infinity, waiting for an eternity with this infinity symbol here. So it might be that uh, they're taking a long time to talk to you, or you might be texting them, waiting to hear back, and you think, oh, I don't want to text again, but um, what are they doing? I want to hear from them. I'm getting a bit anxious. So if that's you, uh, try and be a little bit patient with this person, because I'm just looking at the strength card again, and, and that can be about you know taming yourself, holding yourself back, not saying things, not just coming out and saying whatever's on your mind at the time. Um, so I'm actually not seeing any deliberate ignoring. Um, so uh, yeah, this is what I'm getting. They're a little bit up and down emotionally, which is exactly what I was seeing before. And this is the two of pentacles. So that's what they're like. They're up and down emotionally. And again, this is someone who's quite sensitive. I've seen that before. Um, and they might not want you to know how sensitive they are. You know that because you're very intuitive and you know them well. Um, but I think what's happening here is maybe they're slow to contact you or maybe they're not saying anything because they want you to think they've got everything together. Exactly like this man, he's trying to keep everything together inside this infinity symbol. He's trying to hold it together. He's trying to manage everything. So maybe when they have these kind of more down moments, you know, when, you know, if they're not coping or they feel like that, that might be when they're holding back. That might be when they're not communicating. Because again, they don't want you to see um, if they're not coping or if they're in a bit of a mess or whatever. I'm not saying they're a mess, but, <laughs> um, you know, that they're going through ups and downs. I, I'm really seeing that. So if that makes sense to you, that that might be happening with them, uh, just be aware of that. Just give them a little bit of space if they need. And um, I just feel as if I have to say this, and I'm having to say this in a lot of love situations because uh, a lot of people are separated. A lot of couples are separated right now. Really horrible. So, um, and you know, this is a problem that people in long distance relationships have all the time. Because when you can't see someone and uh, you haven't heard from them or whatever, if you kind of text them, message them, talk to them, and you don't hear back from them, you know, sometimes your mind starts to wander and it's like, oh, what are they doing? Are they talking to someone else? What's happening here? I've been in that situation before um, and it's really, really stressful sometimes. And you've got to kind of hold your tongue and not say anything. So um, if, if that's how you're feeling, if you're separated from someone, I'm not seeing them talking to anyone else. I'm not seeing any problems. I'm seeing, again, you're very, very solid. And again, nothing's going to come between you. Not this horrible situation, no people, nothing's gonna come between you. Very, very solid situation. And you've got the Ace of Pentacles, which in love can be um, stability as well. So you've got that right here, uh, right next to this card. Uh, so the last card you have here present is the Star. Beautiful, beautiful card. Okay, so... Now I'm getting this in a lot of readings. This is coming up everywhere at the moment. Uh, dreams, I'm getting dreams here. So obviously this is going to be specific because not everyone has the same dream, but um, I wanna talk about this because this is feels like it's something quite important. And okay, before I get to this actual dream that I'm seeing, um, I, ju I just wanna say this, I'll say it quickly so the images don't go out of my head. Um, but a lot of people are having uh, lots and lots of dreams and really vivid dreams actually right now because people's minds are a lot more quiet that it's it's still their minds are still uh, more than they usually are usually we, we fill our minds with everything all the time uh, lots and lots of work we fill it with all sorts of things at the moment people's minds aren't as full 
And so all these um, dreams and things and vivid things start coming in. Um, you know, when we go to sleep, the subconscious mind starts to review all these images and they all come out. So that's what I'm seeing happening here with a lot of people. But I think with you, it feels a little bit more, um, a little bit more, not serious, what can I say? A little bit more profound, probably, uh, than just having dreams. Because I was getting this in the, in the Ace of Pentacles. You're starting some kind of ascension process. And I think that might be what this dream's about. Because what I'm getting is, with a dream, is um, it, it's an image of, um, okay, I'm getting lots and lots of water. Uh, it's, it's almost like it's surrounded by water, lots of floating. Uh, I'm getting this really floating feeling. Um, it's definitely water, but it feels like underwater because there's blue everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's blue, up, down, everywhere. So it's not like you're floating on the water. It's kind of like you're underwater, um, kind of submerged, submerging yourself um, in the water. And that actually makes me think of rebirth. Uh, it makes me think of, uh, you know, baptism, which can be a symbol of rebirth. Uh, for Christians, so um, I'm not saying you're going to be baptized, but it's it's that thing that you're going through, and your subconscious is telling you that that's what you're going to be going through if you haven't started that already, and I think you have, um, with all of this water. So what it means is, um, if that's what you're going through, big changes, uh, big life-changing things, they're going to come up for you. All these big changes are going to happen. That's what rebirth is, coming out as a different person. And it's interesting because I was getting this image of this cocoon, you know, and staying inside the cocoon and then coming out ready for a new life. So very interesting that I'm getting this water theme here with the dreams. So if you've had this dream, um, when you come out of this quarantine time, uh, you're going to be very, very different. That's what rebirth is. Very different, uh, very, very positive, but very, very different. Um, yeah, I'm surprised the Ace of Cups isn't here actually because uh, that can be about this kind of experience. Um, yeah, you're going to feel very different um, on the inside. Um, I'm seeing lots of peace. I'm seeing a really calm way of seeing things uh, that you haven't kind of had around you before. So it's like you'll be able to handle a lot of things that come to you that you wouldn't have been able to before. So when you've got this challenge up, up ahead of you, uh, this business or this thing you're doing, you're going to have lots of challenges and maybe you wouldn't have been ready before, before you started this process, but now going through this, you're going to have to handle a lot more. So everything's timing. I mean, sorry, all the timing. Does this make sense? Everything's timing. That sounds absolutely ridiculous. What I'm trying to say is the universe times everything at exactly the right time. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I think you know what I'm talking about. So that's what part of this process is all about. Uh, the other thing is, don't be afraid. I, I know it could be really scary if you, you're having dreams that you're completely underwater sometimes. And um, But try and go with the flow if you can. However you feel. You might have all kinds of different feelings that come up. Just go with the flow of them. That's all part of this process if that's happening to you. So the first card you have uh, for your future is uh, the Five of Cups. Again, yeah, again. This is really following on from the Star card. Um, if that's you, if, if you're having that dream, if you're kind of experiencing that, um, I, I don't want to say much more about that because I know it's very specific, but um, it's a really, really big thing that's happening. So I had to talk about that. I really, really had to. Um, but part of going through this kind of transformation, uh, this kind of experience, um, it, it's again, it's really going into yourself, going back into your past, uh, you know, really going back into all these kind of corners of your soul, really and all your feelings, good, bad, everything else, everything's got to be explored when you go through this process. And so there might be times when you're feeling quite sensitive yourself, you know, when you when you don't want to talk to anyone. But again, just go with the flow with whatever happens. And you look at this man on the Five of Cups and obviously he's got his head down, he's absorbing all these feelings, and he's thinking about, he's really working through some really difficult feelings here. So, um, and you know, Again, this is the perfect time to do this, especially if you're in quarantine or something like that. If you're totally by yourself, 
perfect time to do this, um, which is what the universe is giving to you right now if this is you. And if you can go into nature, that's another thing. Yeah, if you can go out into nature, walk around in nature, um, see if you can do that as well. That'll really help with this as well. Absolutely amazing. This is a huge reading for someone. Um, so I really hope that's you if you're listening. Um, okay, the other thing is, uh, yeah, okay, this is a really, really, really strong message. Uh, so, uh, okay, this is it. Don't let anyone talk you out of what you're doing um, with this business thing or whatever this thing is, this idea that you've got. Um, I don't think you will, but there's someone who might try and talk you out of this. Uh, they might actually try this before you've been through this experience or in the early stages. Um, I'll just show you how I'm seeing this. So the area just behind this man, I'll move that down so you can see. Yeah, so just the area where he's standing, um, it, it's yellow. You know, it, it's all yellow. And the area behind this man um, is all green. So where he's standing, Again, it's all yellow. So yellow represents uh, conversations, uh, talking, uh, you know, all that kind of thing. So someone's gonna come in and talk to you before you're ready to lift your hand up and walk out into the beautiful green landscape because you're in the yellow. And when they talk to you, they're going to try and convince you not to do this thing that you want to do, this business thing or this work thing. If you listen to them, this is what's going to happen the cups are going to fall down and you'll have disappointment because you'll walk away from this and it'll be your second chance of this again. And you'll look back and you'll say, why did I listen to this person? Why did I do that? I should have done this. I had my chance. I was all strong, I was all ready. And someone talked to me out of that. So don't let anyone do that because you'll end up a little bit like, or more than a little bit, like this poor man here. So so that's the message of this card. Remember how strong you are. If this, well, someone comes and tries to say, oh, don't do that, don't do this. Just remember how strong you are. Remember how ready you are. Remember how determined you are. So just remember that if that kind of resonates with you. Uh, okay, so yeah, so the next card you have your future is the Knight of Wands. So yeah, again, this is this person coming in to talk to you. And look at how unstable they are. They're coming from a place of fear. They're coming from a place of fear, just like this knight. He's not prepared, he's jumping up and down, he's fearful. Um, so they might be saying, oh, don't do that business, don't do that thing. Do something safe, do something safe. You know, why don't you go and work back in an office? Why don't you go and all that kind of thing. So-called safe, as we know these days, no job is 100% safe. We all know that now. That's what we're all learning now. People say, oh, do the safe thing, do the safe thing. The safe thing's not always the right thing. And so, yeah, they're coming from this place of fear and you never want to make a decision from that place, never ever. So that's another warning there. That's what this person's like and that's why you have to say no if they try and talk you out of that. That's what I'm seeing. Now, I'll talk about the King of Swords now and I'll lift that up so you can see him. Uh, so, yeah, again, obviously this is telling you to guard yourself from this person who's trying to talk you out of this thing. Um, and yeah, look at what's behind this King's head. Look what's behind this King's head. Butterflies. He's thinking about transforming. He's thinking about transformation. Right, so, I love it when I see things like that, I love that. So again, if this is you, um, I really, really, really hope you're going through this or you've started or you're going to. Uh, and remember as well, your experience is your experience when you go through this, it's unique to you. And so really, really remember that, especially if this person tries to talk you out of this. Don't try and explain what you're going through to someone who doesn't understand you. I'm getting that um, in the Knight of Wands. This is someone who just doesn't understand this thing. They don't understand you. They don't understand all this you're going through. So there's no point in explaining yourself to some of these people. Just keep on knowing where you're going. Be sure of where you're going and move forward to where you're going. So that's what I'm seeing in that reading, Sagittarius. Uh, again, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone. I really hope it does with you though, because it's a really fantastic reading. It, it's fantastic everywhere really um, and so thank you for watching and please stay safe and well